reward, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Jacked up and good to go. The entertainment title in the following video is rated M for mature. You have been duly warned. This video is not for children or the faint of heart. Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Fulcrum, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea Episode 2. Where last time I misclicked because my brain went on autopilot from playing the System Shock remake. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, what do I do now? Okay, up we go. Why are you being like this? Up we go! Okay, here we go. Oh, 
okay. When I find you. Oh my god! Alright. Let's do this right. Okay. Cathode well, tube. Not the perfect phosphor. Now we won't immediately die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. Stop it from overheating. Okay. Everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. All right. Um. If I did everything correctly, all that's left should be pulling the lever at the front of the device. Oh, my brain went. You mean the crowbar? No. Literal lever. Go. Oh my god. Certain things just don't work out correctly for me. Oh. Look. Look. You're on the first lady. Okay, we'll do that. It can't be this easy. The First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. Okay. I read all about it in the <clears throat> Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure. Must be up that lift. Perfect. Oh. Technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. I mean, yeah, but let's get knockout gas. If I take the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40-ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. How do you plan on handling Atlas? He ain't just some spliced-up maniac. He'll yeah. make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear! Power for devices, very expensive. Need for that? Just tell me what you want. So tell me under something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not your hair, stupid! Think has a secret lab. Mothballed, forgotten. In there. Yes. Really? In jar. Cannot miss it. <sighs> get for Sutra. Then everybody friends. Where is his lab? Closed off past Fink's quarters. And you smart lady, you find Should have seen that one coming. Uh, of course. What's this? I wish I'd had that. Vox Populi, we must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. Okay, I believe. Yeah.
All right. I've taken your counsel, and you've done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. Okay. All right. <clears throat> well, that could have gone better. Let's get the Yeah, we'll keep the gas cloud on. I, I, what was that game? Just, that was a really wonky takedown. Doors open. <sighs> That's not gonna work. Better take a closer look at that clock. A giant clock. Sort of. Looks like the mechanism unlocks huh. certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No, there's a there's a slot for some kind of key for manual winding. We just gotta find that. Seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. You know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. All right. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my. We've got the clock key. All right. current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. Huh. 
The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong. And it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Colombia. Return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died in that world. Returning would mean giving up part of us. Ourselves. Hmm. We'd become flesh and all that it is heir to. The mysteries of the universe would become once again mysteries. Able prophet, untold prophet. Man, Fink, you kind of let yourself go, buddy. I, I I love I love that. Sea slugs, goddamn sea slugs! Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins. Spoken like a true corporatist. Alright, here we go. <gasps> Good. How to get that idiot his lock of hair. I don't get the feeling that something's going to go sideways. Listen, I got you your gun. I'm here for my head. But my book of the way died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My book of the way was a hero to the cause. Huh. Hi. Okay. Look, are you there? I miss you. You were the only one who ever... You were my only friend. Booker. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own... Could you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. Yeah.
believe I'm going the wrong direction. <gasps> Jesus is rising here. Say somebody uh fetch me a millionaire to clean this mess up. Okay. Let's get our targets. Let's just do this nice and quiet. Oh, this could be a problem. Okay, um... Didn't want to have to do that. All right, here we go. There we go. makes a kind of sense. The little sisters and the big daddies. Songbird and me. Constants and variables. Yep. Let's go ahead and 
it's through. Trank ammo. Okay, what's this? What is all this? Imprinting. That's a wire mother. If you separate a gorilla from its real mother, it will imprint on almost anything. Even that. Why would you think care about that? Songbird. You wanted him to imprint on me. Well, if I recall, that was a problem he solved. Yep. What have we got here? Okay. Oxytocin is happy chemical. One of them, at least. What's this? What's that? It's a skeletal formula for oxytocin. That's the chemical that bonds mothers to children, women, women to, to men. men. Songbirds to little girls. Apparently not. Fink dismissed it as an unsuitable vector. Hmm. Do that. Oh, wow. These poor things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint, so I left them to die. Jeez. Fink, you're freaking heartless, man. <clears throat> Imprinting failed. I can't be right. Clearly they formed a connection between Songbird and me. Oh. I was so young, I... I always remember him just being there. It must be a prototype or something. Does it matter? That's just that's sad. He tried hypnotherapy. On the songbird. How'd that go? About as well as you'd expect. Up we go. Okay. <clears throat> Booker, the little girl in the film. It's me. My God. Oh, I, rem I remember he. He was. He he'd crashed into the tower. I, I, I guess he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking. Thinking I I don't know that something would happen, but. But he just lay there, moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair. He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, 
All the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong mistake an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. It's open. See if anything's worth the appropriating. Check for stragglers. Spread out. <laughs> okay. I think what you got. It has occurred to me that this breakthrough regarding the songbird casts my arrangement with the Oriental Doctor in a new light. What more could be gained by this continued partnership? What secrets that I could not answer for myself? Su Chong can only offer table scraps, and Jeremiah Fink has rich. Grabbing anything that looks halfway there. Who did this? Over here! Sega Link! Since when did you become Lord and Master? <laughs> Who are you? What's going on? New. What? You gonna answer for this girl? Well, that's enough of that business. I'm done. Here I come. Still warm. Who's out there? Come back here. shadow nothing to worry about this mark pick Did they even go in here no I did not Get the 
the hell out of here. Oh, I didn't want to use... Daisy really even had a choice. What do you mean? Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back. To protect a child she was <clears throat> never going to harm. Yep. She chose to die for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities. Did I ever even have a choice? Did you? I like the Raider Ranch. Yeah. Booker thought he did. <laughs> Look where it got us. Right back right where we started. started. All these infinite universes. And yet we end up just going down the same paths. I don't take your meaning. My father sold me to settle a marker. Comstock locked me up in a tower. And I sold Sally for what? Revenge to prove a point? And yet, here you are. Settling the debt. And say we find her. The old past their damage to the young. Isn't it too late for her now? Well, I'd say that's up to her to decide. Just as coming back here was up to you. Rapture runs on children. Little girls with gold growing in their bellies. I'm not gonna break it. I don't remember this fight. If I'm lucky, maybe I can dent it. Just a little. Wow. Pretty lady has the hair? Yep. Neil is Neil. Bring it to Sujong. All right, let's. Uh, it's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty lady put hair sample in two. Then business is finished. What's going on out there? Bloodshed, violence, but not relevant to our arrangement. Su Chong. Su Chong, we had a deal now. Open. Do you know what they call someone who enters a man's home? Andrew Ryan? Uninvited. A thief. And I do not remember inviting you into my city. I had a deal with Su Chong. Li Su Chong is my employee. It was not a deal he was authorized to make. What do you want? I granted adolescence. Thugs. Asylum. You serve those same men in a desire to escape from my generosity. If they shall not have asylum, then they shall have liquidation. Now let's grab another noise maker. Charity, <gasps> the demand a pound. I'm just looking for a girl that was taken from me, a little sister. I don't claim to understand what you are, but I know that you are special. There is business we can do together. And so, I give you a choice. Work for me, or die with Atlas. I'm not going anywhere without that girl. If it's a little sister you want, that shouldn't stand in the way of commerce. I've got dozens of them. I won't leave without her. My men stand ready to take down the door. In 60 seconds, they will enter the room. They will either treat you as a valued employee of Ryan Industries, or as a thief in the night. Sixty seconds. There must be half a dozen of them or more. I've got to get ready. No traps. I, I 
can use the plasmids as traps and, and, and seed the room with them. I gotta find somewhere to hide and, and surprise them. Take them down one by one. Forty seconds. You know what I see on your face? Uncertainty. Who is this girl to you? Thirty seconds. Do you know the value of the shark? Without them, the sea would be littered with the detritus of the weak. Okay, we gotta figure this out. The men who come for you have much in common with those great animals. What sharks do for the ocean? These men do for rapture. Twenty seconds. I will tell you something you already sense. Atlas does not honor agreements, and Orion does. I cannot save your Sally, but I can save you. Listen to that Time. Damn You're not a human. You're not even a parasite. You're just a room. And Andrew Ryan has no time for rooms. Personal, sweetheart. Okay.
What's that in the wall over there? Oh, thank God. Perfect. I beat your sharks, Ryan. The better man won. <sighs> Is that the only thing you respect? Now let me the hell out of here. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds like all hell's breaking loose out there. What's your plan? I can't just place the particle on the ceiling. It would just tear right through it. But every building in Rapture was submerged into the ocean on a lunette ring, connected to the junction of its load-bearing supports. That's fascinating and all, but if you haven't noticed, Ryan sent his goons to murder us. If you're gonna pull a rabbit out of a hat, now's the time to do it. Looks like the structural okay. junction is in we do that. Tain's office. If I can get there, I can float the building. It so happens I've taken that bastard's office for my own use. I'll make sure you've access to the private elevator. Now hurry. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I've been Mr. Fulcrum, and it's always have fun. Leave sentence behind, and no matter where you go, there you are. See you guys next time.